Guys, I'm here with Samson Ogbole and he is, I'm going to let him tell you by himself who he is and what he does. Yeah, uh, my name is Samson Ogbole. Um, mm -hmm. What I do is um, I grow plants without using soil. Did you hear that, guys? He grows um, plants with no soil. Basically, we grow the plants in the air. Usually people ask questions like, why grow plants in the air? Mm -hmm. Especially in Nigeria, where we seem to have enough land. Mm -hmm. And I tell them the reason is because when you realize farmers don't like this method of bush following anymore, where you plant in this plot this year, leave that land for like five years, move to another land, because we don't have the leisure, the liberty to do that. Yeah. So it means the farmer plants on the same land every year, mm -hmm. every year. Now, this is the problem. One, the level of nutrient in the soil begins to go it's down, depleted. depreciates. Yeah. And as it depreciates, it means the amount of fertilizer this farmer has to use yearly is on the rise. Mm -hmm. Now, excess fertilizer on the plant is not healthy for us, the consumers. Mm -hmm. That is one. Two, when the soil becomes infected by any pathogen, mm. there is no way to excavate all the soil and go and treat, mm. which means that you this farmer add... has to plant in a soil infected region. Mm every year mm. meaning he's going to reduce his yield he's going to give us products that are already infected mm. which where we have no option than to eat yeah then thirdly people do not know that plants actually breathe with their roots mm -hmm. you would hear farmers of the old tell you things like our oh, earthworm is a friend of the farmer mm. why the job of the earthworm why breaking the soil particles in the ground is to help Aerate in aeration mm -hmm. now which means plants require enough oxygen now Bringing all of these things together, we ask ourselves, what is the best way to actually grow this plant such that they are healthy, such that you don't have to injure them in the name of weeding? Mm. Because that is a constant thing you're supposed to do. And every time you injure these plants, it means that this plant has to spend some of the energy they would have used in producing food to heal themselves. Mm. Thus, we have what we call aeroponics. In aeroponics, we don't need soil. We don't need any substrate. You grow the plant straight in the air which means you don't need to do, use insecticides or fungicides because of insects on the land. You don't need to weed because the plants are in the air. They mm. have access to enough oxygen mm -hmm. as compared to when they are inside the ground. Mm. You are able to save water because the system recycles the water usage. Okay. Minus that, you are able to use reduced fertilizer. Take for instance, for a plot of land, you may need about 25 to 50 kilograms of fertilizer. Okay. In aeroponics, you are going to use 25 kilograms of fertilizer for five years. Wow. So you see, you are saving costs and you are reducing the amount of power the kind of fertilizers you are that feeding, feeding people mm. in the name of healthy mm. food. So what we do is called aeroponics. Mm. And minus that, your plants grow faster. Okay. Take for instance, tomatoes will take 70 to 90 days in the soil. Yeah. In aeroponics, you will harvest after 21 days, wow. which is amazing. We have something like barley, for example. Yeah. A traditional farmer will plant barley and wait to harvest after about two, three months. Yeah. In aeroponics, you will harvest after eight days. So hold on, you can... What? Eight days, yes, you heard me. Eight days. Okay. How does that work? This is the reason. What is the difference between a seven years old child born by poor parents and a seven years old child born by very rich parents? The one we call Ajewata. Access to better food, better standard of How living. How do they look when you see them? Fresh. Fresh, mm -hmm. big, mm -hmm. matured, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, they're eating better. They the have same thing with the plants you have inside aeroponic. Mm -hmm. It's eating better. It's not struggling with other plants for food. Mm. It's not struggling for oxygen. It means everything about it is just about one purpose, grow. Hmm. So, because of that, he's able to actually optimize his growth rate. At an accelerated rate. pace. And oh. when we make the nutrient solution, we give the plant what it needs. Okay. In the soil, the plant has to choose between, do I want magnesium today or calcium? Mm. But here, we are able to monitor what the plant needs per time, mm. such that only what the plant requires, it is it's given. given. And mm. we don't just keep feeding the plant like in the soil. As human beings, we don't eat every time. Mm -hmm we regulate our eating even for glutons they don't mm -hmm. eat every time mm -hmm. which means when you throw the plant inside the soil you are practically calling this plant gluten mm -hmm. so it has mm -hmm. to tell itself oh it's not time to eat mm. it's time to eat mm. but what we do is we regulate their feeding mm -hmm. which means we are going to practically starve them a bit such that when the food comes like somebody that is hungry they, they take in yeah. as much as they can hmm. and we stop feeding again hmm. so with that you have accelerated growth as compared to normal plants in the soil and this is, this is b your basic equipment? Yeah, this is the basic equipment. For okay. the commercial basis, what we just do is 
this small thing has expanded. Mm, mm. Like take for instance, in Shagamo presently, I'm working on a 157 plots of land. And wow. for that, it's just this multiplied by as many as we want to do. Wow. Okay, we're going to go on a really quick break now. And then when we come back, uh, Samson is going to explain his setup and tell us, I guess, what we need to know if any of us decides that this is the way forward for us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 